America are counting. I want to count backwards. One. Two potatoes, three potatoes, four, five, six. Children in Egypt are counting. Children in South Africa are counting. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Children in China are counting. Children in Russia are counting. Children in 120 countries are counting on you. Sesame Workshop puts the proceeds it receives from the sales of its products right back into Sesame Street and other local educational projects for children worldwide. So you did more than just buy a video or attend a performance. You helped educate children around the world. sesameworkshop.org PBS Kids is made possible by your support of your local PBS station. <laughs> Get ready to meet three friends with an idea for a big invention. To make it work, they'll need a mouse, Marissa, and a tricycle, and lots of other strange stuff. What are these three friends inventing? Find out now on Sesame Street. This is also exciting. Yes, I'm a mouse. Who will meet on Sesame Street? Sesame Street is brought to you by the following. McDonald's is happy to be a part of Sesame Street. They show me how much fun it is to move and be active. You had a good night's sleep, and you're ready to learn. Today, it's about pancakes. They're warm and round, and you think they make a great hat. Pampers Baby Dry, a proud sponsor of Sesame Street. EverydayKids.com is proud to sponsor Sesame Street. EverydayKids.com, a place parents can go to learn more about their child's asthma. Beaches All-Inclusive Family Resort is a proud sponsor of Sesame Street. Together, we are helping children learn and share in new discoveries that inspire a brighter world. Sesame Street is also brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Thank you. A machine that pours the lemonade for him. 
I've never heard of such a thing. Because I think I just invented it. Hmm? Uh, baby bear? Yeah? What does invented mean? Well, it means I made it up. Oh, right here. Right here in my wee little head. Oh. You can see it all. The whole beautiful lemonade pouring process. Quick, quick. I need a pencil. I need some paper. I gotta draw my idea while the inspiration is upon me. Oh. Oh, I can't wait to see what in the world he's talking about. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. What? Aha! Feast your eyes on this, my friends. Wow! Gee! What, what is, is it? it? Well, it's a drawing of my invention, the automatic lemonade pulling machine. You mean, you mean that's the picture of the idea that you had in your wee little head? Yeah, that's the machine that pours lemonade. To help Miles and Hooper? Exactly. You see, my plan is to build it. But before I can build it, I had to draw it. Oh, but I'm, I'm scared I can get it, baby girl. How does the machine work? Oh, well, it's really quite simple. Hmm. See, uh, each and every part is connected to the next part. You see, this part pulls in this part, and that part turns that part, and so on and so forth, until it pours a delicious glass of lemonade. <laughs> huh? huh? Uh, hmm. Well, perhaps I can explain it musically. Yeah. Uh, do you need the play button? Thank you. The tricycle's connected to the kite swing. The kite swing's connected to the feather wheel. The feathers turn and tickle the mouse nose. The tickle makes the mouse he sneeze. at you. The air from the sneeze moves the sailboat. The boat sails and pushes on the golf ball. The golf ball rolls down the long slide and lands on the lever that tips up the fountain and pours out the lemonade. We got it! The bicycle's connected to the country! Hold it! The time for singing has passed. It is time to build! Wow! Do you really think if you build a thing, it will work, Baby Bear? I don't know. Maybe it's all just a young bear's crazy dream, but I have to try, don't I? Hey, will you guys help me? Of course we'll help you, old pal! Yeah, yeah that's what friends are for, Baby Bear! Just, just tell us what you need, Baby Bear. Aw, oh, you guys love you guys! <laughs> <laughs> okay, according to my calculation, mm -hmm. we need a tricycle, some kite string, uh, feathers, and a mouse. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, well, Elmo has a tricycle. And I can get string from Maria. Yeah, and Elmo can get feathers from Henrietta the Hen. And, and I can get a mouse from, uh, uh, I know, I know. My pet hamster, Chucky Sue, knows a mouse. Oh. I'll ask her. <laughs> oh, you two are the best friends a bear ever had. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. I'll, uh, I'll get the boat and the golf ball and the slide, and then we'll be all set. Oh, how much does this feel like cooperation? Me too. <laughs> all right, let's go. Oh, okay, I'll go, I'll go this way. Right, it's going this way. Yeah, yeah, I'm going this way. Okay, let's see here. Sailboat, check. Uh, golf ball, check. Slide, check. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. no, 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 no. Oh. Look, look, look. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm going to have this tricycle mm -hmm. and this feather! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and I got the string and a mouse. Yeah. Uh, baby bear, meet Marissa. Oh, glad to meet you. Oh, that's the machine you drew there. Oh, thank you, Marissa. Hey, what do you say? We get down to business and build it. Oh, yes. yeah! Yeah! yeah. Okay, now, mm -hmm. it has to look just like the drawing. So, oh, okay. Melissa, mm -hmm. you need to be over here next to the feathers, which will be... Uh, 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 <laughs> yep, we mm -hmm. did it. We built my invention. Yeah, yeah. An automatic lemonade pouring machine. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yes, but would it work? Well, let's test it and find out, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Almo, are you ready on your twice go? Ready! Ready, Marissa? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, then let's pour some lemonade. All right, Elmo, go! Yahoo! <laughs> this is so exciting, I can't look. The tricycle's pulling the swing. The string is turning the feather wheel. Oh, that's <laughs> What a way to make a living. 
That's the mousy sneeze. Uh, uh, oh, the air from the sneeze is moving the sailboat. It's going to hit the ball. The golf ball is going to push the lever, hit the carpet, and pour the lemonade. Oh, oh no. no. work, Elmo. Huh? The lemonade didn't pour. My invention's a failure. <laughs> and I'm so frustrated. It's sad. I'm sad uh, too, old pal. Elmo too. So sad. Wait, wait a minute. You're not giving up, are you? Mm -hmm. huh? Or not? Did Thomas Edison give up on inventing the light bulb? Oh. Mm -hmm. Did Alexander Graham Bell give up on inventing the telephone? Yeah. Uh -huh. Did my Uncle Harry give up on inventing the cheese wheel? Uh, Someone let it now. Did no. they? No. They kept trying until they got it. Oh. Hey, you know what? You're white. Right. Yes, we have to keep trying. After all, this is my invention. Yes. My brain child. Yeah. The culmination of all my hopes and dreams. Yeah. So, figure out why it didn't work already. Oh, yeah, wait. Right. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. let's think. Let's think. Uh, think. 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 We need a bigger ball! A bigger ball! A bigger ball! It was just a suggestion. I'm a big ball! <laughs> Too big. Max, I found a bowling ball! Uh, too big and too heavy. Uh, how about how about a baseball? Hmm. Bigger, but not too heavy. Perfect. Yeah, All right! Okay, okay, let's, let's try it again. This time, I know it'll work. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, let's call Miles. Yeah, I want him to witness history in the making. Miles! 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 Hey, what's up, everybody? Wow. wow. Oh, what is this? Oh, well, Miles, it's Baby Bear's invention. Oh, and Elmo's the string puller. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we built it for you. <laughs> you built this <laughs> for me? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is it? Well, well uh, Miles, it, it pours lemonade. Yeah, yeah, watch this, watch this. Okay, everybody, places. Uh, Bigger ball, ready. Bicycle, ready. Sailboat, ready. Mouse, are ready. Okay, here we go. And go! idea for this and then built it for me well you know i i, I couldn't have done it without my friends oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yes melissa that means you too i should say so oh i just remembered hickory dickory duck needs me to run up a clock got to go bye bye wait but oh no there goes our sneezo hello time for your piano lesson oops And there goes our tricycle rider! Oh, oh no! Oh no, Miles! The automatic lemonade pulling machine can't work without them! Baby Bear, it's okay. I mean, for me, the best part is that you thought about doing it in the first place. To help me. Thank you. Yeah, but, but now it, it, it can't help you pour your lemonade. <laughs> well, the lemonade rush is over at Hooper's anyway. Now the pancake lovers are there. And boy, do they love their pancakes. All I do is flip, and flip, and flip. Hey, Miles, we need more pancakes than we need them now. 
See what I mean? Here I come. Wow. All that pancake flipping, he still only has two hands. You know, Tally, you know what he needs, don't you? An, An automatic pancake flipping machine. Yes, I can see it now. Yes, it's all you. It's all you in my wee little head. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, you ready? Yeah. We're gonna need a couple of monkeys. Right, right, monkeys. Okay. And uh, some paper clips. Paper, yeah. And uh, a cucumber. <laughs> She was so small, she was wrapped in band-aids. Hmm, I wonder why it's not working, thought Mummy Lou. Maybe we should start with Uncle Wolfie's feet, she said. Wolfie's feet? What was that about? Oops, said Wolfie. She's right. Wolfie put in the plug, and the machine was working. Sort of. Well, said Mummy Lou, it doesn't work as a cookie container later. But maybe we have a dandy ring toss machine. And the cookies went into a nice old cookie jar. Hello there. This cookie monster and today we going to show you special letter day. Letter day today is... What is? <laughs> Smell to me like letter uh, U. Hey, it looks like letter U. Yeah, today, letter of day is letter U. Yeah. Oh, it looks so delicious. You think me going to eat this, huh? Well, me want to eat this, but me not going to eat this because this too important. And me got ideas, so it's not coming me tummy. This is called self-control. Me got rocket ship over here. See, rocket ship? Me built at great expense. Yeah. And me all ready to send letter U way up into space where me definitely no can eat it. Yeah. Oh boy, what me do for letter of day, huh? Okay, here we go. Put this on top of rocket. Okay, cookie. Bye bye. Safe journey. Okay, everybody. Clear the platform. Well, with the letter, bon voyage. Mm. Uh, hasta la vista, me miss you. Oh. Oh. What, what, what this? What? 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 The dog let that you come back to daddy. Oh. oh, oh, Cookie, me miss you too. Ah. Me 
love the space program. You got a certain shape, you got a certain charm. I feel real cozy when you're in my arms. You, 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 my friend, you. You start words I like, you start words I need, like Uncle Umbrella and Ukulele. You, 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 my friend, you. I like your sides, they're nice and tall, but you, I like your U-turn most of all. You, 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 my friend, you. You, 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 my friend, you. tell you about the specials of the day. Okay. All right, Telly, if you're ready, here is the first special of the day. This lunchtime favorite comes between two slices of bread and is filled with crushed peanuts and smooshed strawberries. Oh, I know this. I, I know this. Um, um, no. What is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Kelly, that's right. <laughs> the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is correct. I'm <laughs> full of protein, and that gives you lots of energy. <laughs> hmm. Kelly, you did so well on that first one. How about trying our next special of the day? I'm ready, Alex. <laughs> Ooh, that? Oh, that means that our next special of the day is a double special of the day. Oh, boy. Let's hear it, Alex. This vegetable is green. It comes in a bunch, and some people say it looks like a small tree. Uh, green, uh, vegetable, a uh, bunch, uh, looks like a small tree. Uh, broccoli! It's broccoli! Oh. What's the name in the form of a question? Oh, what is broccoli? Oh, oh, oh. The special of the day is my favorite vegetable, broccoli. Oh, thanks for saying such kind things, Alex. I'm a great source of vitamin A. Vitamin C and potassium, very healthy. <laughs> oh boy, what else you got, Alex? Well, since you asked, Kelly, here is the final special of the day. <laughs> We're ready. This is something you drink. It comes from a cow, and it gives you a little white mustache when you drink it. It's a drink, you say, uh, uh, from a cow. Give it a little mustache. Uh, uh, it's not orange juice. Uh, uh, not tomato juice. Oh, what is it? You've got about five seconds. Uh, do, 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 do you know what drink uh, comes from a cow and gives you a little white mustache? Uh, what is it? Yes, yes, milk, milk. What is milk? Oh, it's oh. milk. It's oh. a glass of milk. Yeah. <laughs> to keep your bones strong. Oh, Kelly, you 
did it, you guessed all of today's specials of the day, and that means you won. You win a healthy lunch. Tune in next meal right here at Hooper's for more specials of the day. Everybody eats, everybody eats, meat and fish and cereal, carrots, peas and beets, everybody knows that everyone he meets likes to eat, how do we know it's so, cause everybody, everybody eats. There are people who eat sitting, there are some who like to stand. There are people who go out of doors and picnic on the land. There are folks who use their fingers, others use a fork and knife. But no matter how you do it, don't you know it's so? Eating's part of everybody. Everybody eats, everybody eats, meat, fish, and cereal, a carrots, peas, and beets. Everybody knows that everyone he meets likes to eat. How do we know it's so? Cause everybody, everybody eats. Everybody, everybody eats. Misha? Yes? Can I ask you a question? What's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Eggs. You like eggs? Guess what? I like eggs too. How do you like your eggs? It's scrambled. You like them scrambled? Let's pretend we're scrambling some eggs right now. You ready? And scramble. Come on, everybody, scramble your eggs. Mmm, those are going to be some delicious scrambled eggs. Ah, this is great. Ernie's sleeping over at the Count's tonight, so I have the place all to myself. For once, I know he's not going to wake me up. <sighs> no surprises, just peace and quiet. I'll just settle in under my blanket and go to sleep. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Bah! Come on, he's not a sheep yet. We just thought you might like to know where your blanket came from. Well, my blanket? Uh, I, I, I know where my blanket came from. A blanket begins in a faraway place. Where skies are blue and there's lots of space. The nights are cold and we sleep outside. To keep warm and toasty, we grow hair on our hide. But when spring comes round, the weather is warm. A thick woolly coat loses all of its charm. We're itchy and hot, tell a rancher a ride. To give us each a haircut and brighten up our lives. Grabs a big bag and he gathers the wool And he stuffs and he crams till the bags are full He throws them on the truck till it's piled up high Then he climbs into the driver's seat and says goodbye Someone waves a magic wand and poof, 
Now wool turns into a blanket and lands on your bed. No, that's not what happens to your wool. Now listen, it goes to a mill before it lands in bed. Cause it's gotta be twirled into long, strong threads. Then it's gotta get dyed to a nice dull gray. Then woven into cloth before it stands on its way. Get the picture? Yes, we see. Well, there's more. A few more touches and it goes to a store where it's put on a shelf. It's not long before a warm gray blanket catches someone's eye. He says, hey, that's the blanket I've been longing to buy. Well, I'll be dang nabbed. So that's what happens. So when you climb in bed before you go to sleep, He'll be back on the range and doing our best to keep those blankets coming from our rich in the west. That's the story of Bert's blanket. That's the story of my blanket. That's the story of Bert's blanket. That's the story of my blanket. That's the story of Hey, 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 you know, it's kind of late for you guys to be heading for your ranch. There's plenty of room here if you like to sleep over. See, no one's using Ernie's bed, huh? Oh, great, yeah, we're not oh, great to me. Oh, wait, wait, ho, ho, ho. Come on, guys. Wait, hey, guys, look, Ernie's bed, not my bed. Wait, wait, wait. a pattern with my shape. First a hexagon, then a triangle. Next I'll put another hexagon, and I'll add another triangle. Here's my pattern. Hexagon, triangle, hexagon, triangle. What shape will come next? A hexagon. A hexagon comes next. That's right. A hexagon comes next. I'm going to keep going with my pattern. What comes after the hexagon? A triangle. That's right. A triangle. Hexagon, triangle. Hexagon, triangle. Hexagon triangle. That's my pattern. What comes next? A triangle? No, no, not a triangle. A hexagon comes next. That's right, a hexagon comes next. What comes after the hexagon? A triangle. A triangle comes after the hexagon. My pattern is hexagon triangle, hexagon triangle, hexagon triangle, hexagon triangle. Here are my toes. I'm going to count them. Toe one. What comes next? Toe two. What comes next? Three, three, toe three. What comes next? Four. Toe number four. And what comes next? Five. Five toes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Jane Dobry, that is Polish for hello. It is I, your favorite furry, wolf trapping friend, Grover. Oh, I have just come all the way back from Poland, a country that is very far away. Do you know why I'm carrying all these clothes? No, it is not laundry day. I have slipped these all the way back from Poland to show you how they make scarecrows. Do you know what scarecrows are? Well, watch this. It is highly educational. People have a special way to keep animals from eating their crops. Now, crops are food people grow. They use one of these. A scarecrow. Scarecrows are used to scare crows. Must be named. But they are also used to scare away deer, wild boar, and various other woodland creatures. 
these kids wanted to learn how to make scarecrows, and so did I. First, they gathered together a bunch of old clothes that their mommy said they could use. People dress scarecrows in clothing so that the animals will think the scarecrow is a real person and run away. The clothes are hung on big pieces of wood to give them some shape. But not that cold. You do not want your scarecrow to get cold now, do you? Oh, what an ensemble! Classic, but stylish. Then they added some finishing touches. An old hat, even sunglasses. That is one cool-looking scarecrow. When the scarecrows were done, the kids had sort of an impromptu scarecrow parade. Why not? Then it was time to put their new scarecrows to the test. The kids hid to see if any animals would come along for the scarecrows to scare. They waited and waited to see what would happen. Huh? It seems that not all animals are afraid of scarecrows. Oh, all the other scarecrows are going to be so jealous. Oh, as you can see, I have just finished putting together my own scarecrow. Is it not adorable? Unfortunately, there are no crows around for the scarecrow to scare. But, have no fear. Ah, ha, ha. I have put together the following formatic presentation. Excuse me. I am a crow! Caw! Oh, oh look! Crops! Mmm! They look so delicious! I think I shall eat them. Oh, but wait! What is that? It must be a person! Oh! I am so afraid! I shall fly away and leave these crops alone! And I shall return never more! Never more! Never more! And sing! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, you hear the scarecrow behind us? They play the Americans! You will be playing this week at the Cherry Orchard! Thank you! Thank you! Ah, hello there. I am here with Jessica. Say hello, Jessica. Hello. Yes. Jessica is going to bang this drum, and we will count the bangs. Then we will know what is the number of the day. Are you ready, Jessica? Yes. Okay. And you can count along with us, too, okay, until we get to the number of the day. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Yes, and 12 is the number of the day. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I love that. Let's see what the judge says. 12! And that's the number of the day.
something bigger. Something or something. something. Ah. <laughs> That's a car. Think of something in the sky, Mr. Noodle. They're not in the sky. Cars are on the ground. Uh, yes, see, that's the ground. Keep trying. trying. That's, that's a surfboard. A surfboard. No way. How fun, Mr. Noodle. Wow, that looks like fun. What is something in the sky? Surfboards are in the water, not in the sky. Try to think of something you see when you look up in the sky. A kite? Oh, a kite. Yeah, a kite's in the sky. Up. But it's not in the sky now. Throw it up and run, Mr. Noodle. Throw the kite in the air. You can do it, Mr. Noodle. Almost. You need the wind to fly the kite. You need wind like this. Now fly the kite. Wow, that's windy. Now fly the kite. Here it goes. Yay, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle is flying a kite in the sky. Yay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no, the wind's too strong. Yeah, Mr. Noodle's up in the sky too. Hold on. Dorothy wants to ask someone else. What do you see when you look up in the sky? Hi, Dorothy. This is a picture I made. I made um, a sky and a sun. I made the sun yellow, and when I looked up at the sun, it's like a golden yellowish. And I mixed some blue for the sky, because that's how the sky looks sometimes. Hi, Dorothy. This is a picture of a plane, and it's in the sky, really high. And there's a sun, and there's clouds. Do you like it? Hi, Dorothy. This is a picture that I drew. There's a shooting star, another star, and these are all planets. They're in the sky at night. What do you think? Oh, thanks, everybody. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. Now, I'm going to ask a baby. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> hello, hello. Baby, baby, what do you see when you look up in the sky? Oh, a bird. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Elmo has mail. 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 And let me be the first to say, hello, Elmo. You know, there's something else that you can see when you look up in the sky. Yes, something near and dear to our furry little hearts. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Look, what? up in the sky. Is it a diaper? Is it a blanket? No, no it's a super baby. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she the cutest thing you've ever seen? Goodbye, Elmo! And might I add, goodbye, Elmo.
For your in-flight entertainment, the little penguin who tried to fly in the sky. Once upon a time, there was a little penguin who tried to fly in the sky like other birds. He flapped his wings, but that didn't work. He jumped in the air, but that didn't work. He even tried getting a running start. That didn't work either. His little penguin body wasn't made to get off the ground. That's penguin for, I'm going to fly if it's the last thing I do. Which is penguin for, you're full of hot air. Eureka! He was flying in the sky in a hot air balloon. He was full of hot air. Soon all 
all the other penguins took to the sky, too. They flew in airplanes, in helicopters, in blimps, even hang gliders. Anything that was made to fly in the sky. And the little penguin lived happily ever after in the sky, of course. That's penguin for the sky's the limit, the end. Coming up next on the Sky Channel, the sky who loved me. some light on the subject. Wow! It's the sun! <laughs> oh, the sun is bright! I sure am. I am the brightest thing you will see in the sky. I shine and light everything up. Boy, the sun does a great job, too. Thank <laughs> you. And when I set, it gets dark. It becomes night, and you can't see me anymore. But you can see me, the moon. Thanks, Elmo. Sometimes you can even see me in the daytime sky. That's right. Oh, yeah! The moon looks pretty in the sky, day or night. Oh, go on. Oh, look, 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 look. Dad is imagining the moon in the sky in Elmo's harness. Elmo's gonna dance on the moon. but only during the day. At night, if you look up in the sky, you might also see stars. And sometimes a group of stars can make a picture called a constellation. You just have to connect the dots. I could listen to you say trash all night, Slimy, but I'm curious to find out what's up with Trash Gordon myself, so I'll read. <laughs> hold, hold on to yourself there, because here we go. The Adventures of Trash Gordon, Chapter 648. When we last left our hero, Trash Gordon, he was stuck on the planet Conga Line, where native Conga Liners would not let him stop dancing. Hey, do that! Nice Conga! Oh, Conga! Huh. As much fun as it was, Trash knew that if he didn't get away soon, he would be conga ing forever. Suddenly, he had an idea. He saw the Planet Conga Line radio, and as they danced by, he switched the station, and the conga line stopped. Hey! Who got the conga? Oh, no, but 
did that crazy beat. Then they started dancing a dance they'd never danced before, allowing Trash to escape. <laughs> Once more, Trash had danced his way out of trouble. Then our hero said heroically, Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letter U and by the number 12. Sorry, Slimy. Time to sleep now. So close your eyes and dream of all the wonderful trash that's yet to come. You too. There'll be more trash tomorrow. To learn more about Sesame Street, visit us at pbskids.org. the nonprofit educational organization behind Sesame Street and so much more. Learn more at sesameworkshop.org. these great products from Sesame Street. Coming in March 2006, a new arrival from the creators of Sesame Street, Sesame Beginnings, in two all-new DVDs, Beginning Together and Make Music Together. That's right. That's how you make a baby band. <laughs> Each DVD is filled with songs and activities for you and your baby to enjoy and share together. What can we do with all this extra energy of yours? See your favorite Sesame Street characters as babies for the very first time. Meet Elmo's dad, Cookie's grandma, Big Bird's aunt, and Prairie Dawn's mom. Swing, baby, swing. <laughs> baby, swing. Ring, 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 ring. Swing, baby, swing. Come on. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Play and sing along with Brandy and Wayne Brady and their little ones. <laughs> Beginning together and make music together. Coming to a store near you in March 2006. This could be the beginning of some beautiful friendships. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo is very happy 
to see you. Join everyone's favorite furry red three-year-old, his goldfish Dorothy, and friend Mr. Noodle in Elmo's World. Now in two new Elmo's World home videos, Elmo's World Reach for the Sky and Elmo's World Food, Water, and Exercise. In Elmo's World Reach for the Sky, the sky's the limit as Elmo and his friends reach for the stars. Elmo thinks about jumping, school, and bright blue skies as he searches for the answers to some tough questions and takes off on a series of exciting adventures, including skydiving, ski jumping, and dancing on the moon. In Elmo's world, food, water, and exercise, join Elmo as he explores why food, water, and exercise are essential parts of our life. Your preschooler can learn about foods from around the world, dip into water, and stay healthy and strong with exercise. Now you can find out about anything and everything when you visit Elmo's World on DVD and VHS. Make Elmo's World a part of your world. Collect them all, only from Sesame Workshop and Sony Wonder. Join Elmo in the new video, Elmo Visits the Firehouse. Meet real firefighters and learn about what to do if there's a fire. Firehouse. Get Elmo Visits the Firehouse today. Elmo had you get low and go like this. You're there. Oh, get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Don't you go back in. You're safe now, kitty. Available only on Sesame Street Video and DVD. Hi, this is Paula Abdul, and I'd like to invite you to a very special dance class with Zoe, Elmo, and me in the brand new Sesame Street video, Zoe's Dance Moves. Join us in learning all kinds of dance steps. Just get up, have fun, and move your body. Zoe's Dance Moves, available now on DVD and video from Sony Wonder. Who doesn't have a favorite song? Everybody does. If you love kids' favorite songs, then you'll want to join Elmo and his Sesame Street friends for kids' favorite songs, too. Pick your favorite from 15 songs, all guaranteed to get you dancing. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Plus, there's an extra special bonus. The Sesame Street feature, Hero Guy. I didn't expect to see that. Kids' favorite songs, too. On video, CD, and cassette. Only from Sesame Street and Sony Wonder. I love it. Experience the wonder online at www.sonywonder.com.